Hello there class. Um, so this is a uh, week nine and in week nine we're going to be talking about Ranorex. So week nine the topic today is Ranorex. And I believe you know a lot of you have probably installed the software and um, you probably played with it. In the following videos I'm going to show you three key things that we're talking about today. And the first one is we are going to do a getting started simple recording. In there I'm going to show you how to record a simple script using RunRx. The second step I'm going to show you is um, what we call test actions. And in the test actions I'm essentially going to show you how to break down your script into simple smaller scripts and the last one which is my favorite topic is the data driven test data driven test so in the data driven test what we're going to do is we're going to replace all the variables sorry all the constants like username and password with a variable and we're going to create a table with many variables inside and we're going to connect that table to your script and it's essentially a way for telling RunRx to run the script as many times as many data as you, has, uh, sorry, as you have in your table. It's a lot simpler when I show it to you so without further delay let's get started. So once you install the RunRx you will see the RunRx Studio that looks like this and is a very similar tool to uh, UFT and Selenium. Uh, right away you will go to file and you want to create a new project. So I'll click on file, I'll go to new and in RunRx they call a project a solution. It's the same thing. So I'll click on solution and there are two types of um, project you can create. One is the C sharp, which is this guy, and another is a VB.net. I, from my experience, have noticed RunRx is um, more stable when you do your recording in C sharp. So select C sharp and give it a name. So the name of this I'll call it Lesson 1 and press create. So right away what you see here is um, a typical view of what RunRx will display to you. On the left hand side we call this the project view. And in the project view as you can see project. In here you can see your project file and the sub files within your project. So the project file is lesson one and in there you have all your reports. So every time I run through this project, all my reports will be kept in the report folder. I have my recording, which is by default, RunRx creates at least one recording for you. I can change the name of this recording to whatever I want it to be. You have in here what we call this is the code. So this is the C sharp code of your recording. Right now it's empty because we have no recording. But once I have a recording and I come back in here, you can actually see the actual raw code. Why is that important? That is very important because if you have another automation tool that understands the same language as RunRx, you can easily migrate your code from one tool to another tool. So that's the advantage of that. Then we have the repository. This is where you can find everything RunRx has saved for you. So the, the, the name of the page you're going to, the buttons, the forms, the URLs, is that's the brain of RunRx. And everything you can find is in a repository. This is your test suite. And this is your test case. 
I'll talk more about that later on. Um, on the bottom side, you have what we call the module view. And your module view is is a base is a summary or summarized view of the project. So as you can see, the project has a lot of files in here. But in the module view, it shows me exactly my recording script. So as you can see, the name of the project is Lesson 1, and I have just one script in my Lesson 1. Sometimes people find the project view to be a lot of noise, and you prefer to use the model view. And the beauty of the model view is, if you have more than one recording, you can easily drag and drop your recording. See, I'm going to drag recording one again. You can easily drag and drop your recording as many times as you want to use it. Okay. Um, and the last view here is what we call the action view. The action view is where you do your recording, is where you create a test suite, is where you create a test case, and is where you arrange your test scripts, you know, the, the actual recording. So you probably spend most of your time on the action view. Okay, so let's get started. I think that's enough um, introduction. Let's record our first script.